All right, we're here with the uh, New Zealand Black Stick star, Che Macalis. He has taken some time to participate in this segment that we're going to call Technical Talk with uh, Top Players. Hi, Che, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for taking your time. Um, I would like you to comment on this goal that uh, we're going to watch while we talk against India, where uh, you take the ball outside the circle, you run and you hit on the move. Uh, basically, why using that technique and how would you transfer that technique? How would you coach or what technical points can you give to our audience? Yeah, well, the, the first first part of it is um, is the lead in the pass. So you have to obviously always be available for your teammates. And um, Simon Child was on, on for the ball and I thought I could get into a good position to actually receive the, receive the pass. So you've got to have the desire, first of all, to actually go for the ball. Um, and then you have to have a good connection with the other player on the ball. So that's something that Simon and I had at that situation. So I did a good lead. He did a, he did a really good pass. Um, and then going into the flow of the shot, uh, obviously um, I had a bit of time in the circle, but when, when you are running into that situation, keepers always think you're going to hit the ball off your left foot. Um, so my... Uh, instinct and, and that's what a lot of time I think you should go off as, as a bit of instinct is, uh, was to shoot off my right foot um, and that would take the keeper a little bit unaware because uh, speaking to a lot of keepers, my, my brother and my dad are keepers as well, that they always expect you to hit off your left foot so if you do things a little bit differently um, then the keeper is more unaware of the shot coming towards them uh, and then obviously the, there's the, the difference between shooting low, shooting high um, preferably you'd probably always shoot uh, low but at that stage um, where I was kind of drifting away from the, the right edge of the circle, I thought I'd have a crack at going up into a position where it's quite hard for him to move his hands. So that, that's pretty much why I, I did the, sh uh, the shot selection I chose to. So one was to get it away quickly, and two was to have it um, him thinking that I'm also going to hit low, so I hit high. So there's two things I try to do um, to stop him from actually making that safe. Um, and then to transfer it into training is pretty much do exactly what I did, just running into the edge of the circle. It's best, um, what's well, easier to do on the right than it is on the left-hand side. But just even just carrying into yourself and then just getting used to just trying to hit the ball off that right side of your foot. Um, it is in a little bit of a different position. The ball's slightly out in front of your body, so your natural swing arc will actually take the ball in the air. But if you bring it back into your stance as well, you can hit it on the ground. Um, and it is a good shot to have. So. In a sense, whenever I take a step in the circle, so I put my left foot down, I can take a shot. I then go through my right foot, I can take a shot, left foot take a shot, right foot take a shot. So you can always hit the ball whenever you're ready to, to run. Whereas if I'm only a left footed uh, shot player, then I take a step off my left foot, and then I have a shot, then I come through with my right foot, can't shoot, then I have to wait again to shoot off my left foot. So it just makes you harder to defend. Okay, thank you very much for that one. Uh, and also, we are going to try to analyze this one, the one that uh, the deflection on a penalty corner that uh, you score in against South Africa in the 2014 World Cup. Uh, what technical points can you give and how do you train such a risky play? Because in the end, for teams that perhaps don't control the drag flick as well as uh, the black sticks, talking more at club level perhaps, um, how do you train that um, with safety without getting injured? Yeah, the, the first priority is um you've obviously got to have a lot of trust in your drag flicker. Um, we always tell our drag flicker to try and actually score. So if, if for any reason I go in and miss the ball, ball or if the defender does well and actually um, challenges me to stop me from tough touching the ball, there's always the chance that the ball's going to go in. Um, at club level or lower level school, school hockey or whatever, it is um, actually harder for those players to lift the ball in the air. So I find that you can still practice that sort of, um, that sort of uh, injection as well and, and going into the tip. If you can't do a drag flick, you can always do it from a sweep hit as well. So it still remains safety. And then I think you should always be able to hit it maybe within a, in a foot to a metre uh, meter window. Um, and that's where you use your stick. So you keep your body out of line of the, the ball and then you use your stick, which is you know 36 to 37 inches long, and you use your stick to create that, that, uh, that width of the of where the ball should be able to go to. So you should be looking at it, see where it comes, and then just slide your stick, keep putting on a bit of a ramp, so then you can tip it up, up into the air. Um, and then we just have a, a, a kind of a set play where we do it slightly more to the right of the spot at the top of the circle, so then it gives even a better angle for me to run in and, and make a tip. So we actually had two guys running in, so I 
came from the narrow track and I ran in and then we had a second player which was Simon Child running in from the tip left position so if for any reason the defender tried to take one of us we had two players in there to actually make the tip so obviously as you can see in the goal that's there it's uh, quite an effective uh, routine and effective way to score a goal very hard for keepers and defenders to stop. Okay and um, finally the last question uh, we have shared some of your videos from InsideHockey.com um, tell us a little bit about this new project. Yeah, so Inside Hockey, um, uh, first of all, sort of came about um, by playing hockey with Ronald Brow. So he's a silver medalist from uh, the Dutch hockey team, so a pretty cool player to, to be involved with. Um, we both play hockey together in Belgium, and um, I guess, well, Ronnie's um, uh, international career is finished, and mine's, you know, coming, coming to an end at some stage soon. So it was a really cool way for us to try to stay involved with the game when we stop playing, um, and then also give back to players as well. So... Obviously, as you can see, with a few of the skills that we've got there and then um, a lot of the skills that we've got in inside hockey, we know what we're doing and we know yeah. what we're talking about. Um, but there's no point in us just keeping those skills for ourselves. So we want to be able to share those skills with um, with other players, youth players, any coaches that want to learn from them as well and try to make hockey a, a, a better sport to be watched and, and better for everyone to actually play it in the end. So hopefully everyone's enjoying what we're trying to do on inside hockey and um, the the feedback we've had so far has been great, so long may it continue. That's great. We're going to share the social media channels and the, the website of Inside Hockey so people can follow you and can join you and check the weekly updates and videos that you guys are posting. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay. um, if everyone, like the skills that we do put on as well, so you've got, um, we have two weeks to put a skill on and then kind of show some match, uh, match examples of that and every two weeks you can actually win a ritual hockey prize back as well. So. If you just film yourself on your phone down at the pitch, most of the skills you can do by yourself. Um, tag Ritual Hockey and Inside Hockey on that, and then you go on the draw to win a win a pretty cool uh, prize pack. So make sure you guys get on there and um, and send us in your uh, examples of doing our skills. We we will put also that that information on the description. So thank you very much. I don't want to awesome. take more time off uh, from you. Thank you very much. We'll probably ask you more questions in the near future. Yep. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Robert. Bye bye. Yeah.